the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette C7 Stingray has finally been revealed and I know this video is a bit late but I said I was going to make one so here it is my impressions on the car what do I think before I get into that I want to quickly brief you on my um, 2013 SRT Viper impressions if you remember the video I said I wasn't really impressed with it it didn't catch my attention as an American muscle car it looked too European in my opinion and as I said it looked like a Ferrari 612 from the front anyways so here's the C7 and what do I think about it? I'm going to give my honest opinions and you know what? My, my honest opinion is it is fucking sexy. Oh my days. Now this is what you call American muscle. This is what I am talking about. It's got the definitive, striking, aggressive and toned lines that I was talking about. The hood has the sharp lines to make it look like it's going somewhere. It makes it look aggressive. Um, the side is toned, defined, it's got indents and stuff like that. The rear looks futuristic as hell. Some people are saying it looks like a jet fighter. In my opinion, it reminds me of the Lamborghini Reventon. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Now, let's go back to the front. The front has really shaped headlights and also they've included daytime running lamps. And that's one of the things I complained about on the Viper. But how have Chevrolet pulled it off on the C7? Well, they have used daytime running lamps, correct? But their daytime running lamps are one continuous strip rather than having separate and many fairy lamps like the RDR8 has or the Viper had. Um, absolutely stunning. I, I, I can't, I can't. I just, I don't remember the last time I was this hyped about a car. It's just that they've blown us away, if you get what I mean. I am very impressed. And back to the rear. Um, people are saying the rear looks like the Camaro, and that's fine. But Chevrolet couldn't afford to have those rounded tail lights again because, you know, the car looks more, more like a Ferrari now. So having rounded tail lights wouldn't, wouldn't help at all. So that's why they've done that. So either way, it works. If you look at the rear, you've got these four exhausts, quad exhausts in one central section and these lines swooping up to the rear window. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so how did I find out about this car? Well, to be honest, I found out about this car through Gran Turismo 5. As some of you may know, there was a test mule DLC where you could drive the car and test its handling and stuff like that. And then later on, they finally revealed the car and here we are with the final prototype. And I'm playing with it right now in fact, it's pretty fun. The interior is pretty slick too, beautiful. So yeah, that's my that's my impressions. Some people are even calling this the best Corvette design ever. I mean, can you just imagine the Z07 and all these other high spec models that are going to be coming out? Straight beast. So that's, that's my opinion. Chevrolet, I give mad props to them. And I think more car companies should be doing this because it's it's great, it's great um, promotion. And you're not only promoting to car fans, you're promoting to gamers as well. So promoting your car through like Forza and Gran Turismo is a great idea in my opinion. So yeah, that's my that's my impressions. Props to Chevrolet, GM, um, and the designers. That's that's I I'm actually very hyped. I can't stop looking at the car. So, I'm, that's my opinion. So, thank you for watching. Peace out.